Introduction The Enigma of Stonehenge in the vast plains of Salisbury, England stands one of the world's most intriguing mysteries, Stonehenge. For centuries, these giant stone pillars have captured our imagination. But how did they get there? Who built this enigmatic structure, and why? Theories abound, from the plausible to the fantastical. Today, let's delve deep into the true origins of Stonehenge and the people who built it. The historical backdrop. Archaeological evidence suggests that Stonehenge was constructed in stages between 3000 and 2000 BC. However, the purpose of its construction remains a subject of intense debate among scholars, historians, and archaeologists alike. The Druid Connection One of the earliest and most enduring beliefs was that Stonehenge was the handiwork of the ancient Druids. Romanticized by writers and artists of the 18th and 19th centuries, this theory postulated that these Celtic priests used the site for religious ceremonies, particularly the midsummer solstice. Yet, as seductive as this theory might be, modern archaeology has found little evidence to support a Druidic connection, especially since Stonehenge predates the Druids by at least a millennium. Astronomical Observatory? Researchers have long speculated that Stonehenge might have served as an ancient observatory. The alignment of the stones, particularly the heel stone, correlates with sunrise on the summer solstice and sunset on the winter solstice. This suggests that the builders had not only a deep understanding of the annual solar cycle, but also a desire to mark or celebrate it in some significant manner. The Healing Theory Recent excavations have unearthed evidence that may point towards Stonehenge as an ancient healing site. Archaeologists have found remains of bodies buried around Stonehenge showing signs of illness or injury. Could it be that people traveled vast distances, drawn by the site's reputation as a place of healing? Stonehenge and the River Avon Connection Not far from the colossal stones of Stonehenge flows the River Avon. Recent research has suggested a profound connection between the river and the site. Certain bluestones found at Stonehenge, believed to have healing properties, are thought to have been transported from Wales along the River Avon. This further bolsters the theory that the monument and the river together formed part of a ritualistic healing journey for the ancients. Sounds of Stonehenge in an unexpected twist, some researchers have proposed that Stonehenge might have served acoustic purposes. Experiments have shown that sounds made within the stone circle produce unique echoes, leading to speculation about potential rituals involving chanting, drumming, or other forms of sound. Was Stonehenge an ancient concert hall, resonating with the rhythms of prehistoric ceremonies? A monument to the ancestors. Another theory posits Stonehenge as a cemetery or a memorial to the dead. Numerous burial mounds and cremated human remains have been discovered around the site, suggesting its significance in death rites. The positioning of the stones, aligning with celestial events, might symbolize a bridge between the earth and the heavens, guiding the spirits of the deceased on their journey to the afterlife. The Engineering Marvel Setting aside its purpose for a moment, let's marvel at the engineering feat Stonehenge represents. Transporting the bluestones from Wales, shaping them, and erecting them using only primitive tools is an accomplishment that boggles the modern mind. This highlights the advanced understanding of geometry, physics, and logistics possessed by its builders, painting a picture of a sophisticated and organized society. Stonehenge in Modern Culture while its origins remain shrouded in mystery, Stonehenge's impact on popular culture is undeniable. From inspiring countless works of fiction to drawing thousands of visitors every solstice, the site continues to captivate and inspire. It stands as a testament to humanity's eternal quest for understanding, connection, and a place in the cosmos. The Sacred Geometry of Stonehenge A closer look at Stonehenge reveals fascinating geometric patterns. Some researchers argue that the placement of the stones aligns with certain geometric shapes and numerical constants, suggesting the builders had profound knowledge of sacred geometry. The circular design itself might represent unity, cycles, or even eternity. The Merlin Legend 
Another captivating aspect of Stonehenge's lore is its connection to the wizard Merlin of Arthurian legend. Medieval stories suggest that Merlin magically transported the stones from Ireland to Salisbury Plain. While this theory is more myth than reality, it underscores Stonehenge's enduring place in the realm of folklore and magic. Connections to other ancient sites The pattern seen at Stonehenge can be found echoed in ancient sites worldwide. Similarities in design and purpose suggest a possible exchange of knowledge or shared spiritual beliefs. From the pyramids of Giza to the ancient temples of Malta, these alignments could offer a deeper understanding of our ancestors' unified vision of the cosmos. Modern rituals and celebrations Stonehenge remains a living monument, with both neo-pagans and modern druids congregating there for solstice celebrations. Witnessing the sunrise on the summer solstice, when the sun aligns perfectly with the heel stone, is a sought after experience, binding the ancient and modern in a timeless ritual. Conservation efforts. As with many historic sites, Stonehenge faces challenges related to preservation. Natural erosion, weather changes, and even the touch of thousands of visitors, can take a toll. Today, efforts are in place to ensure this iconic monument stands for future generations to wonder at and enjoy. The future of Stonehenge exploration. Advancements in technology promise even deeper explorations into Stonehenge's mysteries. Ground-penetrating radar, 3D mapping, and even virtual reality provide newer, less intrusive ways to study the site. As we peel back the layers, we inch closer to understanding the monument and its creators. Personal Reflections, A Journey Through Time Visiting Stonehenge is more than just a tourist experience, it's a spiritual journey. Walking among the sarsens and bluestones, one can't help but feel connected to the myriad souls who, over millennia, have stood on the same ground, gazing up in wonder and reverence. Conclusion, Stonehenge, a timeless enigma. Despite our best efforts and advances, Stonehenge retains its mystique. As we unearth its secrets piece by piece, we come to appreciate not only the monument but also the indomitable spirit of our ancestors. In its silent majesty, Stonehenge invites us all to seek, to question, and to marvel at the unfathomable tapestry of human history.